Hey guys, and welcome back to another update video. Now today I am primarily gonna be testing out the new Nex rewards. Now these have just been added to a beta world and anybody can try them out by logging into one of these five worlds. Uh, so in the beta world, you have access to all of the Nex rewards, including the Virtus robe set, uh, the Zerite van braces, the Zerite bow, and the Ancient God Sword. However, they also have all of the Tombs of Masket rewards, but primarily I wanna test out the next rewards because those are brand new. And honestly, the raid rewards haven't changed that much. Uh, so I think a good place to start is gonna be their max hits. So let's go ahead and test those out. Hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started. So let's start off by testing the new Mage Robe set. Uh, so that's the Virtus Robe Top, the Virtus Robe Legs, and the Virtus Mask. Uh, now this magic set is dropped from Nex and will offer very similar uh, stat distributions as Ancestral, however there is one key difference. Uh, so if we go ahead and equip the set, you'll see we get some defensive bonuses here, but no flat magic damage percent, uh, which is what Ancestral would normally get you. Instead, you get a set effect. So when you have the full set equipped, you're going to get 9% increased damage from Ancient Spells, which is marginally higher than the flat rate that the Ancestral will give you. And on top of that, all of your spells will get an enhanced ability. I'm also going to equip the new Elidness Ward. It is a brand new item, but you know we might as well take advantage of it. Uh, so with everything equipped, we get an additional 37% magic damage plus an extra 9% on specifically Ancient Spells. So our max hit with Ice Barrage is a 43. Now in comparison, if we use just the Ancestral set, our max hit I believe is a 42. Two. Uh, so it adds on one more max hit as far as Ice Barrage goes. Now if you do happen to be on a Slayer task, the max hit is going to be a 48. And with Ancestral, it is the exact same, a 48. Now as far as the other Barrage spells go, they sometimes add a max hit, other times not. For example, uh, Smoke Barrage adds one max hit. I believe Shatter Barrage doesn't. We hit 40 before and we also hit 40. So overall, a very marginal DPS increase. It looks like the main selling factor is the enhanced abilities, uh, which we'll go ahead and test out in a minute here. Alright, so next up here we have the two ranged rewards. We have the Zerite Van Braces and the Zerite Bow. And now the Zerite Van Braces are straight up going to be an upgrade over Barrow's Gloves for ranging. For example, Barrow's Gloves give 12 ranged attack and no range strength. However, the Zerat Van Braces will give 2 range strength, a prayer bonus, and 18 attack bonus. Uh, so essentially, this will occasionally give you max hit, and well, they're just objectively better gloves, so I think people are going to want to get them. And the other reward is the Zerite Bow. Now, the Zerite Bow is kind of interesting. It will, uh, first up here, you need to charge it with Nihil Shards, which we'll just go ahead and use them right now. You can add up to 100 at a time, and for every shard you add, I think you're going to get 100 charges. Yeah, so we're already up to 10,000 charges. Now for my initial testing, the max hit is quite low, but that's because you hit more than one target at once. Now if we had the bow equipped like this, we could hit up to two targets at a time. However, if you have the Zerite gloves, you'll be able to hit up to three targets at a time. So this gives it kind of niche uses whenever you need to hit two or three monsters at a time. After that, chins are still better, I believe. So with everything equipped, the max hit of the Zerite Bow appears to be a 27. So fairly low compared to something like the Armadale Crossbow. Of course, it is a much quicker weapon and attacks more than one target at a time. If you're on a Slayer task, the max hit is a 31. And the final weapon we have here is this badass pink God Sword, which uh, is a placeholder, of course, for the Ancient God Sword, another drop from Nex. Now, like any god sword, it's mainly used for its special attack. Now, the ancient god sword is an interesting one. Okay, so first up here, I'll go ahead and use it, and then we'll explain exactly what is happening. So, first up, it looks like the max hit of the ancient god sword is a 53. However, after a few seconds, you will get another hit splat that, if you were successful in your first hit, you will hit them for 20 and heal for 20. So, overall, uh, the max hit is kind of a 73 uh, with a 20 point heal. Now this is contingent on them not moving more than a few tiles away, which of course this combat dummy didn't. I'd be a little scared if he did. And if you do happen to be on a Slayer task, you can hit up to a 62. And you can see here we healed 20 hit points. Uh, so overall some pretty interesting effects, but let's go ahead and test them out a bit more than that. Okay, so the Zerite Bow is what we're going to test out first here. Now where exactly would you use the Zerite Bow? 
That's a good question. Uh, I think a lot of people argue it's kind of niche. Now, one of its main use cases, I think, would be Armadil. However, apparently the Zerai bow doesn't work in the same way that Chinchampas do. So I'm going to go ahead and try to test it out with Slayer, just so we can get an idea of how it works. Obviously, there are going to be some uses for it. So let's go ahead and get a few monsters near together, just so you can see how it works. Now, keep in mind, the bow will not attack more than one monster at once unless you have it charged. So we have to make sure that's charged. As you can see here, we're kind of shooting out two arrows, which is looks pretty damn cool, to be honest. Uh, so we're definitely attacking two at once. That said, because we do have the Zerite Van Braces equipped, we should be able to get three at a time. So we got them lined up here. Now we should be able to attack three at a time. You can see we're hitting pretty high hit splats here. Obviously, our overall damage is less, but because we can attack multiple monsters at a time, the DPS is a lot higher than you would imagine. As one two claws, which just happened to be my first uh, Slayer task that was in the multi-combat area, we're getting pretty damn good experience rates per hour. Now, honestly, the Zerite Bow might shine even more locations where you normally can't use a cannon because normally you'd be restricted by single target damage. However, for the Zerite Bow, that's obviously not a problem. So we can kind of go ahead and just destroy them all at once. Uh, oh, that feels pretty cool. And like I said earlier, regardless of how good this bow ends up being, I gotta say it feels really fun to just shoot down a bunch of monsters at once. So the tactile feel of the bow is quite cool. Getting nearly 200k per hour range experience with just a single bow, no cannon, that's all. Now while I was in the catacombs, I noticed somebody down here using the new Zerite bow on Abyssal Demons, and I thought that's actually a pretty good idea. I didn't even take the time to go get a Slayer task, and we are absolutely shredding these Abyssal Demons. With Auto Retaliate on, you can pretty much AFK here because the demons will aggro themselves just based on the fact that your bow does AoE damage. Now normally you wouldn't really kill Abyssal Demons with range, but honestly the Zerite bow seems pretty good for Slayer, and quite strong for Abyssal Demons. Okay, so next up here we have the Virtus Robe set. Now I already talked a little bit about the 9% extra magic damage you get just for wearing the set, which gives it a little bit more damage over Ancestral if you are using Ancients. However, on top of that, there are set effect bonuses. For example, Ice Spells will have an additional 10% accuracy against Frozen Targets. Uh, blood Spells can overheal you for 20%. Uh, shadow Spells will drain your Strength, Range, Magic, and Defense on your target. And smoke spells reduce healing, so it does seem for the most part Virtus is aimed to be a PvP armor set. Obviously, I'm not really qualified to tell you exactly how useful that's going to be. Now for PvM, I'm sure there are going to be a few use cases. Off-task Necreals, I'm sure, will be pretty good. You'll get some overheal from your Blood Barrage, your Ice Barrage will be more accurate, and will hit more than if you were just wearing Ancestral. Now, as far as bossing, I guess you could bring it to Zamrak. I mean, you can Blood Barrage the minions, and overhealing would be really nice, that said, are you willing to bring three slots just for Virtus? There really just aren't that many times where you're camping Ancients, at least in PVM. In the majority of time that you are, you're usually bursting or barrage training, and normally you're going to be in the Slayer task, so I'm not even sure where it'd be useful there. Let me know down below if you think the Virtus set will be useful outside of PvP. I'm always curious to see what you guys think. So far though, a bit undecided on how useful the Virtus set truly is going to be. We're going to try to PK someone here. Now let me make this abundantly clear. I have literally never PK'd before, so this is going to be awful. I'm just going to try to kill an AFK person. See if we can start with that. So the combo I think is going to be pretty powerful it is to freeze your opponent, spec them with the Ancient God Sword. They can't move, so you're guaranteed to heal 20 hit points, and then, yeah, you're good to go. Well, I already learned one thing about PKing, is you can't use autocast really for Ancients. Hey, well there we go, we killed an AFK person. Thank god we at least managed to do that. Uh, so like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the Ancient God Sword has a potential max hit of 73. However, that damage is split up a bit, because you get the guaranteed 20 damage afterwards, assuming they don't move. So for PvP, I'm sure you'll be able to do some really interesting combos, because you can theoretically hit them for a fairly large spec hit, and then combo something after with the guaranteed 20. So the combination with the extra accuracy from Virtus and the God Sword, it does seem like these two item sets primarily focused on PvP, which you know, honestly, that's okay. And honestly, I'm pretty happy that PvP is hopefully going to get a bit of content. My first impressions though, outside of PvP, not really sure where you'd use them. 
But of course, this is just a beta, so things might change. Anyway, guys, that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it as always. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Now, before I go here, I want to give a massive thank you to all of my members over on YouTube. Thanks so much to Sejuani's Flail, The Hybrid, Guy Fox, Timothy Chen, Ocelot, and Kush Patel for all being subscribed at the Dragon Tier. You guys, it honestly means so much. You guys are willing to support me that much. Thank you. Also, a giant thank you to Base Titch, Mexos, NDM001, and YoYoSub89 for being subscribed at the Runite Tier. As always, if you guys are looking for another way to support the channel, becoming a YouTube member is an awesome way to do so. Mainly, you'll be immortalized in all of my future videos, but you'll also get a custom role in my Discord server, as well as access to my video release schedule. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.